Chief Minister M. Biren has said that new SOP guidelines to contain the coronavirus will be released soon for the state. Apart from this, he said efforts are on to cover COVID-related medical expenses by Ayushman Bharat and CHMT. Chief Minister also informed that life insurance for the frontline workers has been extended till next year. He said this during a program on COVID-19 at the Chief Minister's Secretariat in Imphal today. A book entitled Dams and Indigenous Peoples Write in Manipur written by Jitan Yumnam was released today at Manipur Press Club in Imphal. Indigenous Community Development Organization ICDO Chando has kick-started a two-day long training program on formation of Special Purpose Vehicle SPV and Social Institution Buildings today at Nongorok Chandil's Sharon Kane and Bamboo Cluster. A consultative meeting on COVID-19 for local clubs, social organizations, including Mera Paivi and Bishnupur Municipal Council BMC was held today at the conference hall of BMC. Bishnupur constituency MLA Govindas Kontojam also attended the meet. All Manipur Muslim Students' Organization, AMSO, and Pangal Students' Union, DMU, have suspended the 48-hour statewide general strike following the state government's assurance to implement their demand of 4% reservation for Meitei Pangal in general courses, non-professional, of higher education from the academic session 2020-2021. On request by Taubal District VDF Welfare Association, Taubal Superintendent of Police Dr. S. Ibomja provided 200 face masks, 100 bottles of hand sanitizer and 100 gloves to the association today. Jirang Police in pre-dawn search operations recovered a huge cache of arms and ammunition in western Assam's Chirang district. Acting on an intelligence input, a team of police led by the Chirang Additional Superintendent of Police ASP launched search operations in two different locations under the Runi Kata Police Station of the district during which the arms were recovered. Today is the 221st day since India implemented a nationwide lockdown to help curb the novel coronavirus pandemic. So far, India has recorded 80,88,851 confirmed COVID-19 cases, including 1,21,090 deaths. As per the report, a total of 73,73,375 people have recuperated from COVID-19 so far. There are 5,94,386 active cases of coronavirus infection in the country as of now. A one-day state-level orientation come intervention workshop was held at Indian Medical Association Hall, Lumpur Park today. State Tobacco Control Cell, State Health Society, National Health Mission, Manipur, Sangai Youth Tobacco Free and Educational Organization, Manipur, jointly organized a program on the theme Tobacco Use, Tobacco Control and Effective Implementation of National Tobacco Control Program, NTCP, in Manipur State. Four Ngai Kong Zila Parishad member T.H. Toibi Devi inaugurated a newly constructed office building of Rural Youth Development Organization, RYDO, at Ngai Kong today, constructed under 14 State Finance 2019-2020 for Zila Parishad. North Korea said the shooting death of a South Korean man in its waters last month was a self-defensive measure amid concerns about the spread of the novel coronavirus, state media reported. Reuters informed that North Korean troops shot dead a South Korean fisheries official who went missing in late September before dousing his body in oil and setting it on fire, South Korea's military have said. <laughs>